Hi, hi, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I did not upload it yet. After, after we're done tonight, I'll upload it because okay. I don't want to steal all of our bandwidth from our live show. Oh, Welcome. Hi. Hi, friends. Um, so you guys are jumping in right in the middle of a heated debate. And that is... <laughs> oh, God. The heated mattress pad. You didn't forget. You don't understand the rules. So he's addicted to the heated mattress pad. I'm going to say hi to you all in a second. I just need help solving this. This is a serious marital problem. And I like it fine when it's necessary. But when it's 40 degrees out, it's too much. It's That's basically spring weather here and... I've fussed at them a few times that I'll go to bed and it's like so hot. I'd rather be cool than hot. So I told him, don't turn on my side because it's one of those dual side ones. Don't turn on my side unless it's freezing outside. Well, we're in the middle of like major 45 mile an hour windstorm, ice storm this morning, awfully cold. He came downstairs, he goes, I followed the rules. I didn't turn on your side. I'm like, it's freezing outside. <laughs> He's like, no, you told me don't turn it on. I said, no, I, I told you don't turn it on unless it's freezing out. He said, it's too many rules to follow. He's putting too much responsibility <laughs> on me to determine whether or not it's freezing. In <laughs> reality, it's about 38 degrees outside right now. So it, it's technically it's not freezing. But the wind chill, you got to take that into effect. Too many rules. <laughs> Too much responsibility on me. <laughs> oh, hey guys. So I saw Diana's here, Bree, uh, Homestead Remembrance. Thank you so much. And uh, 5,000, yeah, we reached it this week. Just last week we were saying. Uh, oh, we had a little screen cap yeah, of it. Yeah, that but we I... were so close. And uh, did you not put it in there? No, I forgot to oh, include it. That's all right. Yeah, uh, Tangie actually let us know when we were like three away, and then she screenshotted it and sent it to us. That was so nice. Uh, Double Scratch Perch from Michigan, where are you? We're Michigan too. Hey. We are here. Yeah. Or here, depending. I don't know how this camera flips, but. Yeah. Hey, White Pines Homestead, City Stead, Creating Essence. Hi, Homestead Preacher. A lot of friends here. Karen, Hello hi, from Florida, hi. 9 p.m. and 69 degrees. I just, 10 minutes ago, sent my dad a Snapchat. Who He is located in Key Largo, Florida, and I sent him a Snapchat of our freezing rain outside and freezing cold temperatures, right? Yeah. Cold enough to turn on the bed? Yes. So Michigan <laughs> Daffodil said, guys just can't pick up on the nuances. It's just a fact. Yes, I guess they have simpler minds than us women. I turned it on like every night for like two weeks. when I Because like an hour before bed, I go up and I turn on the heated mattress pad. And I would turn hers on. <laughs> Both of them. And then one night it was like, you got to stop turning this thing on. <laughs> I was it's just too hot. <laughs> Because it was like 40 degrees. <laughs> I'm miserable if I'm hot in bed. Oh, oh Lord. Hey, okay, guys. we'll stop with that. Uh, hey, Midwife Mountain Homestead. Hi, Ed. Penny, Green Gables, welcome. I used to live in Adrian. Adrian is about 40 minutes yeah, from 40 us. 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Maybe 45. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have friends out that way. We are like 20, 20 minutes east of Dundee, if that helps you out. Mm -hmm. Hey, Leanne Cecil. Two wild onions? Interesting topic, yes. <laughs> we have uh, a show and tell tonight. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, I don't think we post it on Facebook. Um, I don't know. Okay. I don't know well, what you're about to share. That. I um, canned fish for the first time. I know it was in our weekend in review. So I'm going to try it tonight with you guys. We're going to make some 
mock tuna fish salad for my lunch tomorrow. And we'll see how it works. Double Scratch Perch, just north of Grand Rapids. <gasps> We're... Our cabin, we have a cabin about 45 minutes north of Grand Rapids. Yep. Hesperia is the town. So are you near that? Hey, Tracy. You're show and tell. 32 degrees in Sonora, California. Wow. Jeez. <clears throat> Are you guys, is it Sonora North? I wonder if they're getting any of that West Coast snow that's yeah. out there. Yeah, so we're going to try it tonight. We're going to try the fish tonight. And then in the weekend in review that we posted on Monday, you said that you filmed a video about it, but you forgot to film the end. Mm -hmm. So there would be no video about it. And I got to thinking today, because I had to be home for the contractors to be working in the kitchen, which is one of our secrets that we're keeping from you guys. And because uh, you're in the kitchen right now, if you don't know, and you can't see because we're facing <laughs> the other direction. Um, and what is I saying? Oh, so I had to be home for them. And I got to thinking, like, did I really not finish filming that fish video? So I went back through all of our clips. We were just so busy, I couldn't even remember that we filmed the ending. So I did put together that video on canning fish, and it'll come out tomorrow morning. Hey, Tamara. Oh, I'm so glad you got to join. In Fremont, yeah, Fremont is very close to his Fremont's area. We've gone close. there a few times. Mm -hmm. When we get to, when we leave home and we head to our cabin, every now and then we've arrived in town too late in the grocery store in Hesperia's clothes so we go to that Walmart there in Fremont mm -hmm. pick up some supplies. Hi Heaven's Gate. Uh-uh, Junior, it's not a secret anymore. It's not, a, how is it not a secret? You can't see it. It's totally a secret. There's the canned fish. Yeah. That was right after it came out of the pressure cooker. Yep. So I did two pounds of cod that were in the freezer, and I ended up with like four half pints. So it's Very good to cool. know. Oh, no, Gonza's mom. Oh, she found out she has cancer. Yeah, will do, Tracy. Do you, do you know what kind of cancer it is? Hmm. Thank you. The The same paint job runs through the kitchen, too. I realized when I showed the kitchen dining room remodel of the painting, I didn't really show how the kitchen turned out in that footage. I only really showed the pantry and the dining room, but the kitchen carries through the same way. Yeah, it's all one big room. Yeah. I've heard of Hardy Dam. We've never been there. Walker Walkerville. I'm not familiar with that. I mean, we really just go 96, take Nunica over to Hesperia, and that's how we go. We don't venture out too much. Ovarian. Ugh. Okay. Ovarian. Oh, cancer. Mm hmm Okay. Um, Facebook message us, Tracy, when you find out anything. Yeah, that's not good. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's getting it's getting weird. Not to change the subject, it's getting weird to keep track of what's posted on Instagram versus Facebook because mm -hmm. we've been trying to do. Well, we've really, in some ways, we've been slacking on our Instagram. Because it's, I, I feel like we have, because it's winter. and The other day we posted like three things in one <laughs> Yeah, day. I guess we did. <laughs> but we've been trying to engage a little bit more on mm. Facebook and try to post some more stuff that we don't post anywhere else, a little more behind the scenes stuff. So if you're not following us over on Facebook, you can check us out over there. 
and I'll keep trying to to be active over there. Yeah, he takes care of the Facebook page more than I do. Um, hi, Rosanna. Hey, happy farm girl. Uh, so the secrets, we're keeping secrets. The, why we titled it that, it, you guys know that we have, if you watched our weekend in review, that we're heads down in the kitchen renovation and we started the bathroom remodel. And the bathroom remodel is behind this chimney, like, see where that cow picture is? Just on the other side of that I'm door. Over there. Yeah. And, um, it's so hard for me to keep secrets. So hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I have two friends that they're on getting Snapchats. Like I just have to tell somebody. <laughs> so I'm like, where's my progress? And I just have to show somebody. And I hate that I have to keep it from you guys, but we want to put the videos out and, if you give it all away, it's like you lose all the value and it just stinks. It's like total spoiler alert. I know. It's like, I don't need to watch that video. I already know how right. it turns out. <laughs> uh, thanks, Homestead. Oh, cool, Tamara. You're redoing your laundry room? Great. Love. I love when people tell us that we inspired them. Yeah, it's fun. It's always some makes me smile. Mm -hmm. um, Gon said it's hard to keep track of all the accounts. It is because, too, there's so many new Homestead YouTube channels. And I'm really trying to support everyone that, you know, we have like, like interest. And um, our YouTube feed now, subscription feed, is so huge that it's hard to even watch you know, I try to spend, like, I'll pick one day and I'll say, okay, I'm going to watch these five channels. And then I'll pick another day and participate in everybody's good content that they're putting out there. Thanks, Sharon. Okay, Green Gables is remodeling their mom's new house. Yeah. We haven't had to do too much, like, typically when you say the word remodeling, you're, like, doing major construction. This is more of truly a makeover. Mm -hmm. We're not having to tear down walls or rip out things too much. A lot of resurfacing, yeah. I guess, would mm -hmm. be another good word for it. Right. When okay, we somebody, talking... I did, hold on. I did see somebody ask, I think it was Amen Homestead, asked if we're getting the wind yet. Yes. You I can hear it. I don't know if you can, but it's definitely those gusts are coming. So we do caution you. We should have started the show with that, that we may lose power. It's happened twice today already. It's gone down and just come right back up. Um, so if that happens, we just want to apologize in advance. But we are in the middle of a, uh, a weather advisory with a massive uh, windstorm going on. And we had the major ice storm this morning, so there's just a lot of potential for the power oh, to go out very much very much so and if we do lose power and our stream goes down and we're dead even if we lose power for three minutes we're not going to restart the live stream it'll just be what it is for the night and we'll carry on it gets too messy when you try to create a second stream and red hot via <laughs> That's true. He said he was watching so many videos, he wasn't getting anything done. Now he limits himself to what he can fit within <laughs> that one cup of coffee. Yeah. It's true. And we're so busy right now that we're not having the typical evening time to sit down and catch up on our YouTube video channels like we normally do. So yeah. I usually get to work pretty early, so I'll spend the first like hour just catching up on everyone hey michigan mike i watched your how to make a cake without i think it was without eggs and butter interesting and you watched we watched this pantry tour video oh the i other did day. watch your pantry tour video don't always get to comment because we're watching it on the tv but we're watching mm-hmm Yep, that's about the same for us, too, changing Winds Farm. Uh, 40 to 45 mile an hour gust is what's happening here. 
So did I miss what happened with Redeemed Ranch? I'm hoping yeah, to move to did. Arkansas this year to start our small farm ranch. Please keep us in our prayers. We want what the Lord desires for us. Okay. We're moving to Arkansas from where? Where are you at right now? Yeah, my daughter's had a lot of time off of school, too. She's fortunately a senior, so they don't have to do those makeup days. Oh, really? Mm -mm. Lucky her. Yeah. So do we own any electronics? No, none. What? We do everything with smoke signals and... <laughs> Maybe you're referring to the name of our channel, 1870s Homestead. That oh. is the year that our home was our oh. home was built, was in the 1870s. So oh. that's the name of our channel, named as such. Oh, I get it. Sorry, I wasn't laughing at the question. <laughs> I was laughing at his response and going like, I mean, he's a tech guy. So yeah, we have lots of electronics. But we're not big gadget people. Like, a lot of people have, like, lots of gadgets. Like, I don't have, like, an electric tea kettle, you know. I oh, mean, not certain things, no. Certain things we keep it simple, but I'm I mean, very... We have our crock I'm, pot, we have our Instapot. Homest homestead gadgets, yeah, we do not have a lot. Yeah. But as far as techie computer technology-based stuff, yeah, I'm pretty geeky. It's what I do for a living, so... I am a bit out of more out of touch than I used to be back in the day, but yeah, that's a fact that they may not know about you that you ran your own tech review company. I did. I don't know how many how many years ago was that? I don't know. It was called LittleWhiteDog.com. Yeah. And the companies would send him products to review, and they would review and publish their reviews. Do benchmarking and mm -hmm. I think the site's still up but we I sold it to a, a gentleman in England probably 10 years ago 11 years ago I think I sold okay, it. I think it was right before we got married. And they tried to keep it alive but it just kind of died after that. So another fun thing another show and tell uh, for dinner tonight fried up some pork chops and just had some baked beans with it so I wanted something cool to eat with it so I busted out can you guys see this yep a can of beets these are from Mindy at Life Goes North so they're really awesome Alaska beets I honestly do not like beets I bartered her these for some honey it was a very expensive bartering going that far <laughs> for beets and honey, <laughs> but um, we just had fun with it. And I can't grow beets, you guys know that. So she sent me two jars, and I thought Todd would enjoy them with his dinner, but I figure I owe it to her to try some. I loved them. Oh my gosh, they were so good. Um, like, oh, I wish you, I, I held it up there so you guys could smell it. <laughs> you can't smell it. But they smell, oh my gosh, so yummy. There's some kind of spices in it. And we ate like half the jar, just Todd and I. I probably, I really could have finished the whole jar, but I figured it would make me sick. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. I think she has a video on her spiced pickled beets, I think she called it. And... I'm going to go find it so I can um, bookmark it because this will be my fourth year trying to grow beets again. And I, I think I'm going to go out to the garden bed where I'm going to plant those seeds and I'm going to pray over it for the next month. And then I'm going to lay hands on the seeds. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what else I need to do, but I need some beets to grow here on this property. So Sammy Joe, where do we live? Southeast Michigan. Yep. Southeast corner. Just ten miles east of Lake Erie. 
there was like three more questions I was going to snag. Real hey, quick. Diana. Are we going to do any Instapot videos? We don't have any plans to. Mm -mm. I mean, we can. I don't consider myself an Instapot guru expert or right. a guru. We use our Instapot when... We forget. <laughs> we forget. We <laughs> forgot to thaw something out. We yeah. need food. Here's a roast down in the freezer. Let's throw it in the Instapot and look up online and see how long do we cook it. Right. <laughs> so we're not experts with Instapots. There's yeah. a lot of people that are probably... That are that are experts. So mm -hmm. I mean, we might use it from time to time for something little. But right. I see Jack and Tangie's here. Hey guys. I did. Welcome guys. Uh... In Goldshaw Farm. Oh. Mor Morgan has joined oh, Morgan, us tonight. Hey, I didn't see him join. I think I was probably had my nose in the beats. Almost Homestead apparently has internet still under. What do you have? Five feet of snow now. Six, seven. <laughs> Oh, almost homesteads here. Oh goodness, I think it's amazingly beautiful and absolutely gorgeous. But I saw that picture of I guess that was your front door open, and I'm like, that's like what you see, and you're like, that can't be real. That's crazy. <laughs> what hey, food forest is here. Hey, is Howie right? Is that Howie. His name? Mm hmm. I'm really bad with names. She remembers people's names like crazy. And Dawn and my two arrows. That's a new name. Hi, welcome. 36 inches here. Wow. It sure looked like more than that. I mean, it looked like you had that much before yesterday. My goodness. Yeah, we did wake up this morning. Last night was ice storm warning. Mm-hmm. Um, National start, Weather like... Service. And this isn't a this isn't a watch. This is a warning ice storm. And we woke up this morning with uh, a good quarter inch ice. She came downstairs and went in the living room, and she was like, "You got to come and look at these windows." This is what it looked like. You couldn't even see. It was like our windows were frosted. Yeah, from we the had outside. like privacy glass windows throughout the whole the whole east side of the house. Just mm -hmm. a layer of ice. It was insane. I mean, I went out to the goats, and typically when it ices like that, you can just, like, hit the fence and it breaks off. This was uh, not going anywhere. It was solid, solid, thick, thick ice. The secret to Angie is I hate keeping secrets. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that I cannot show you guys the status of my kitchen right now because you're in my kitchen you know that because you've been in here and turn you around and show you show you what's going on or I can't post pictures of the bathroom because I'm so loving it is driving me crazy but hold on and I'm gonna have a couple amazing videos out soon but it would be giving away the spoiler alerts and oh <laughs> I can't it kills me. One of these days I'm going to slip. I know it. I'm just going to slip. How are we doing for covering our stuff? You still have your little project to do? Yep. Oh, yeah. So this was this morning when I was leaving for work. The tree in our front yard. I think in the video you can hear the ice still falling like the storm is coming. And this was also this morning. This is a little uh, oak tree, right? Yeah, that's the oak. Yeah, I think the ice storms are beautiful. They're always so pretty, but they leave so much damage behind. I mean, there's so many branches, and we have so many trees already that... Just natural winter causes us a huge spring cleanup. <laughs> Morgan says he thinks that our, our sink dish pile is taller than ours. I bet my sink... It is right now only because I had to clean before my contractors came over today to work on the kitchen. But my dishwasher is not emptied. 
Here's my be empty just being waiting for those dishes to we go We could in. have a competition of how much stuff do you have on your dining room table right now. Oh, yes, we could. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally win that one. You can't, you can't set this cup on our dining room table right no, now. No, no. Someone did ask how our goats were doing. Okay. And the goats are doing perfectly wonderful. Yes. And mischievous is always. In fact, I came home, was it last week? <laughs> Rosanna said, no hurry, Todd, but can you get it done soon? We want to see it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm working, working, working. The goats, I came home from work the other day, and then I pulled into the driveway, and I parked, and I was walking from my truck to the house and there's a gap between our garage that you can see from the front yard to the backyard and I always glance back and look at the goats just to make sure you can kind of see them through mm-hmm. the the trees and the mm-hmm. brush and stuff and I looked and I'm like what the heck seriously <laughs> I, did. I came in the house and I grabbed the camera and I went out and I found them up on top of the house again <laughs> Despite my efforts of that cattle panel that you see there, that was to prevent them from climbing up there. And it worked quite well until I think it was we disconnected the straps that were holding it. So we could put the blankets during the blanket. Yeah. And then they figured out they can squeeze between that cattle panel, busted down all them hay bales, (laughs) got up on the top, and were walking all the way around the perimeter and ate like this much of the hay from the protects them from the the wind and the freezing cold temperatures i know so i just need to ask you all to appreciate the absolute um what's a good word for it tom jankery is that a word can i make that word up of our goat shelter i mean that takes some credit that we've got hay and straw, ratchet straps, cattle panels, <laughs> two blankets and duct tape and bailing twine holding that thing together to protect mm-hmm. those goats. So just because you don't have a barn does not mean you cannot have animals. Tangie, you heard me. Don't let Jack fool you and tell you that you've got to have it all together before you can have what you want. Yeah, you can make stuff work. Heck yeah. Um so I saw somebody asked, oh, it was Tracy asked, do we think we're going to get more pigs now that we're afraid we might not have enough pork? Good job remembering that question. That was like 10 minutes ago. Tracy, so I just um, sent Homestead Dad a message today. You, you weren't here. I couldn't talk to Spoiler you. alert. And uh, told him, hey, for real, for real, because I told him this last year and I didn't do it. For real, for real, I'm probably going to get some pigs from you. He raises American guinea hogs, which was the next kind of pigs we wanted to try. I'm probably going to get pigs from you this fall. So not because I do still want to follow through with my pig garden. I think that's just going to be a phenomenal experience and experiment to see how that works. Um, but I, I think what I'll do is I'll get younger pigs, maybe not babies in the fall say like two to four month old range and raise them through the winter all the way through the following fall so do you need to scroll back up and read anything i'm going to go ahead and get kind of some stuff set up for the tuna fish experiment i'm calling it tuna fish because that was my intent so i will i will no let me show them (laughs) <laughs> so the video is going to come out tomorrow so this is a spoiler alert but fish <laughs> that's how i label my jars and this did not have water in it you know you just can it this was frozen that i thawed out um and it made all that juice so i'm going to step over to the sink and drain this and then we're going to make some tuna fish salad from the cod that i froze not that i froze that i canned Ragnar, welcome. The Icelandic American homesteader, I believe. Did you just break our last stool? 
That's that wow. Sound. I don't know if you guys could hear that. That was loud. We had the, the stools that we have. So this little snack bar that we have, we have four stools that we bought when we moved in this house and two of them have broken already. So we bought four more, so now we have six and I think I might've just broken another one. Oh and I ripped and I ripped my pants today. <laughs> I told Rachel I think I'm getting fat. <laughs> I, cause I wear I wear jeans to work typically carpenter jeans, and the pair that I wore to work today is relatively new, maybe like a month old, two months old. And I got to work and I sat down in my chair and I heard this sound. I got up and I sat down and I heard it again, and I felt my butt <laughs> and my pants ripped. <laughs> Like right next to the pocket, like whoosh. crazy. Ooh, I smell it. Mm -hmm. Smells like fish. So while she is doing that, so I didn't tell you about this, but I'm going to do this because I... While you're doing that, can I show them what my ingredients are? Do you want me to wait? No, you yeah, you can show them. Okay. And I will... Uh, so my ingredients are my can of fish. So pretend like this is one of those little cans of, you know, compressed tuna. An egg that I just boiled. Our homemade mayonnaise. An apple, because I like crunchy little bits in my tuna fish. Pickles. And I'll use a little bit of the pickle juice, because I like that. And pepper. That's how I make my tuna. I'm sure everyone makes their tuna different. Go ahead. You good? Yep. What? Okay. So what I was going to tell you guys was I was going to announce earlier in the live stream that if we get to 50 viewers tonight that I would do a little contest for you guys. He did not tell me this. I did I'm not, not tell prepared. You. And I'm looking now, and we were at 60 viewers. So we reached we reached the threshold. What is the contest? I don't. What are we giving away? You hate secrets. I do. <laughs> and you can't keep secrets. No, that's probably why you didn't tell no, me. No, I told you about this like three weeks ago, and then we never did it. Okay. But I will give away. So. I just posted our email address in the chat. So it's really simple. That1870shomestead at gmail.com. And the contest is kind sugar. of... Or, Hold uh, on. Is Angie, it a, I'm going to get sugar. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, contest, giveaway, whatever you want to call it. It's almost like a... Um, maybe a biggest fan contest. So the question that you have to answer, and you have to email your answer to our email address. Wow, that was loud. Sorry. And on our inbox, the first person to correctly answer this, I will send you a $20 gift card to migardener.com. Sweet. That's nice. Yeah. Gosh, you're such a nice guy. I know. What's, the, what I what's hear. the question? So the question is, and this is going to be a hard one. I, I'm not sure if anyone's going to get it right, actually. Um, but the first person with the correct answer in our email inbox will be the winner. And I will email you back and make sure. So they won't is... even know if they won tonight? Yeah. No, not really. No, you'll have to pull up your Gmail so we can watch I'll it. I'll watch it tonight, but I don't think, I really don't know if anybody's going to get it. Okay, what is it? So in our video that we put out on January 1st, I think, Check. our year in review video that we did. Okay. We had published at that point 100, 103, 105 videos during our first year on YouTube. And in that year in review video, there was a little clip in the middle of that video, somewhere in the middle of a little old lady sitting in a rocking chair. Oh. To answer the question, which video of the hundred and some that we published this year did that little grandmother sitting in a rocking chair come from? That is a good one. Ooh, don't leave us to go find out. You guys can you, do this contest after. Right, right. And if you 
And if you know, don't answer in the chat because you're going to give the answer away to somebody. Yeah, and they might email, email me the answer at that1870shomestead at gmail.com. And, and what actually... we'll do is we'll announce the winner next live stream. We'll tell you who won. Yeah. That's fun, Todd. Okay, I'm going to just tip this down so you guys can see. Okay. Um, put our email address in the chat once again. That 1870s homestead at gmail.com. Okay, so I'm just putting this. And I think somebody asked, did I cook this fish first? No, I did not. It's just, can you do something with that light? Because it's really blinding this out. Um, I'm just chopping up. Nope, it was just raw fish that had been in my freezer for like a year. It's, I'll tell you. It. There you go. That's better. Is that better? We'll yep. turn it back on after. And okay, I'm just doing this fast and easy. Okay. So I'm going to just chop up an egg real quick. Don't yell at me for cutting in my hands. That's what I always do. Do we have some crackers to try it with? I don't know. Maybe. Kind of smells like tuna fish. A little bit. So I ask the question again, please. Sure. Um, January 1st, or somewhere right around January 1st, we published a video called Our Year in Review, where we took little tiny clips from every video that we put out during the year. At some point during that video, there's a, there's a little video clip of a grandma sitting in a rocking chair. Which video did that little clip come from? I can remember you asking me about that now. You wonder, uh, you were wondering if anyone would know. Got it now? If, if you don't, if you don't, let me know and I'll try to think of a different way to explain no, it. No, I think you got it. Good. So little granny in a rocking chair. Gray hair, cane, I think. Get my pocketbook. <laughs> yep. So I got some crackers. Okay. I'm just chopping apples. Keep okay. talking to people. Let me see what if I missed anything. My memory stinks. Don't answer here. Yeah, don't answer in the chat if you know the answer. Pickle. Does anyone else chop their pickles like this? Well, this one's not going to participate. Morgan had to take off. See you, buddy, if you're still here. Good luck finding that bobcat. Oh, yeah. I wonder if he caught him yet. I don't know if he legally can. Well, he's, he was well, researching big bear. the... Yeah, Big Bear was saying get an exception. Right. Nuisance or something exception. Uh, Sammy Joe, the video on canning fish will be out tomorrow morning sometime. And um, I didn't do a follow-up video, but the very next day I canned um, my frozen salmon as well. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Okay. Mayo. Just eyeball it and see how much I need. A little pepper. Oh, don't let me forget my pickle juice. Ask T Tangy, how much sugar should I put in? Oops. <laughs> give, me, give me the washcloth. <laughs> Tangy, how much sugar should I put in? There you go. Thanks. Okay, almost there, guys. I'm going to start stirring it while I wait for Tangie to answer me. If somebody yeah. knows how much sugar I should put in. Todd oh, well. can't have a lot of sugar. Turn you back so we can see and be friends again. And I'll check our email and see if anybody got it. Well, don't I don't want them leaving to find it. Well, somebody got it already. Really? Yeah. Who? Should we announce it now? We might as well. 
Yeah, I mean, they got it right. So, I mean, it'll save a bunch of people from going back yeah. through and watching all of our videos, which wouldn't be a bad thing, I guess. <laughs> There's a video called Homeschooling, Homesteading High Schooler AP English Assessment or Assignment for Fun. That's an older one. That was in the spring of last year. Yeah, I think, it was like during that. maple season because I remember it. And fun fact, the little old lady sitting in the rocking chair was this lady right here wearing a wig. Until it tastes good. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to do a sprinkle. Like, I've got, like, a sprinkle. Okay. We have an old box somewhere that we keep with Halloween costumes, and she went and got a little wig and got a little cane and sat in the chair. And Oh, my gosh. If you guys haven't seen it, you don't have to watch the whole thing. Just go watch the little cameo todd and i did for it it was what was it on i don't know they had to like market a new product or something like that make an infomercial I oh think. make an infomercial yeah yeah so the winner was eric erica o'brien i will okay. email you tomorrow and make arrangements to send you your gift card so there you go you see tuna looks like tuna okay ready to try it what do you guys think? Think it's going to taste like good enough for a tuna replacement or is it going to taste completely different? You put apple in it. I did. You put apple in your chicken salad. I do. I'm nervous. I don't really like fish. Perfect. Yeah, probably Jim. About April time frame maybe was when that video went out. Yep. It's a doer. You can do it. I think it's actually even better than tuna fish because it is less fishy. What do you think? He would really know because he really doesn't That's like That's really fish. good. Mm -hmm. I think it would be good, or I think it would be better cold, like as it sits overnight right, sure. in the fridge. Yeah. But it's not fishy at all. So now I have lunch for tomorrow, and you guys know that you can make tuna from frozen cod in your freezer. <laughs> well, it's not really tuna. It's well, fish I, salad instead of tuna salad. Yeah. I told somebody that. I think it was Diana, wasn't it? Is Diana at Justice Acre still here? Yeah, she is. You are not fluff, right? <laughs> That's what I was just about to say. I said I was teasing Diana today because she said... Um, posted a picture on Instagram of her grain-free bread. I said, is it really bread then? <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, well, it's close, as close as I can get it. I said, I think that they should come up with a better name than like nut fluff or root, what did I call it? Like root loaf or something like that. I should not call this tuna fish just the same. It's cod salad. So there you go. Um, from the two pound bag, I think I got that bag at Aldi's too, TNG. Um, I got four half pints, you know, the little jelly jar size. Pause, delayed answer. Everything I nice. have heard about canning fish, um, or not heard, but read, because I just read up on it before I did it, was that smoked fish is by far and above the best way to can fish. So, like, they recommended I smoke it first. I don't have time for that. That would be easy to do, though. It would. Not for I mean, me, it, but for you. When I be. tasted it, the first thing I thought of with the, the texture, because it's really extra super flaky, mm -hmm. was if you toss that in a pan with some taco seasoning... My, uh, not the tuna you, fish, but a can of cod, you mean? The can of cod, yeah. yeah. Toss it in a pan with a little bit of uh, taco seasoning and get mm -hmm. some taco shells. and That yeah. makes some good fish tacos. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you'll see it. I'm just going to, guys, I'm telling you, I hate secrets. I'm just going to tell you. What I say at the end of the video that's coming out tomorrow is just look in your freezer. What's going to go bad and get it out and find a way to can it if you have been ignoring it for some time and you don't see yourself using it anytime soon that was one of my biggest um 
failures as a just a um, I don't know, self-judgment failure, I guess, is that I always hated how much food we wasted. There was so much food that, like, I noticed when I dug into the freezer, there's a whole pork loin in there. Really? A huge one that we bought at Walmart that is down in this freezer here. So, like, that would be a good one, honey, that we could try canning, cut it up into pork bits. Sure. Is it like traditional pork limb? We'll have to it's be like, careful. Maybe it's it... a pork roast. It's a big, okay. huge hunker thing. Because just like normal pork loin, well, you have to be careful with that because it'll dry out so much because it's so lean. Yes, fish tacos with slaw. Mm, I love fish tacos. My favorite. All right. What else do we, we have to show? We cover everything in our, in our little thing here. I think we did. Did we? Okay. Yeah. Well, we're just having a whole bunch of fun with you guys. Yeah, just and I'm say still that. really surprised that that uh, Erica got that question so quick. I thought that was going to be a hard one. Yeah. Well, was it used as our thumbnail? No. no Casey was our thumbnail. Yeah. Hmm. Good job. Yeah. And my gardener, 20 bucks, coming to you tomorrow. We had a Buy something good from Alaska, and he bought... He brought it from his family when he visited. Oh, that sounds good. Grind up that pork loin, too? We could if we had a grinder. It's on his wish list. We don't have a grinder yet. We do not. Just went through my freezers yesterday. I ended up finding bananas, so I made banana bread. Tomatoes, so I made tomato sauce and tomato power. There you go. See? Awesome job, Green Gables. Yeah, so every year since we moved here, I I try to learn a new skill. And last year, my new skill that I wanted to learn was beekeeping. I wanted mm -hmm. to get bees. I wanted to learn how to take care of them. Mm -hmm. And we were pretty successful. Mm -hmm. We didn't kill our bees. Last time I checked them, they were all still alive, mm -hmm. which is good. And we have honey in our pantry. Yep. This year, my two things, this year I don't just have two things, or one thing, I have two things I want to learn. One is I want to make sausage, so I want to get a sausage stuffer machine. Mm -hmm. And two mm -hmm. is I want to cure something, oh, whether okay. it be prosciutto, some type of meat I want to cure. And I don't really want to do bacon because it's almost too easy. I want to do like something more of like, here, salt yeah. this, put it in the back of the fridge for six weeks, and then take it out and eat it, which... Um, Something else I want to try soon. So, yeah, we have a sausage oh, yeah. stuffer on our wish list and a meat grinder. Tracy had a good point. Maybe we can make sausage out of that tenderloin if we had. We do have fat that we can add to yeah, it. Yeah, we have bags of it downstairs. Yes, we tried Otangi, too. We had our pinto beans and made re our own refried beans the other night. You did? Yep. Made homemade uh, burritos. And, oh, it was so good. We do have a KitchenAid, and we considered getting, they make a meat grinder attachment for that as well as a, they don't have a sausage stuffer attachment, but they have a sausage stuffer that goes at the end of the meat grinder. And I researched and researched and researched, and I think I just want something a little bigger. And, I, and as far as the sausage stuffer, I want a dedicated machine for that. If you run your, you can run into some issues stuffing sausage well, through, and my, through a grinder. My KitchenAid was my mother's, and it's, well, she's been gone now 20 years, and it was hers well before that, yeah. so it's probably 30 years old. And I don't know that the, the motor on it already is a little finicky, so I don't know that it could handle it. Um, have we missed, can you scroll up and just see if we've missed anything? Yeah, I am um, all oh, here. I know, that's why you have this, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else is so new? Bass Pro Shop has, I looked at the, the grinders and the stuffers at Bass Pro Shops, which is also the same company as Cabela's now, and the Cabela's is like 20 minutes from our house. A little bit of the research that I did on those was it's really hard to get parts for them if something does break. Um, so I've been looking at a company called LEM. 
and I don't know what LEM stands for, but they make meat grinders, sausage stuffers, all types of meat processing equipment, and everything that they sell, they sell parts for it. So if you, you break a gear on your sausage stuffer, you can go to their website, buy the new gear, and, and get yourself back up and running. 1870s, that TNGS bar wish list is public. I don't think so. No, we don't have a public wish list. Mm -mm. I didn't even know that that was something that people did until I saw Roots and Refuge and like I joined one of her live shows or something and she was saying like people were sending her things from her wish list. I'm like, wow, that's really cool. No, we just share it with one another. So I I can see what he adds to it and he can see what I add because he has his own homestead wish list and I have my own homestead wish list. Mm -hmm. Mine has things like bulk flour and spices and his are all tools and stuff <laughs> like that. Yeah, Deb, Deb, or D, D Leb has an LEM grinder. Mm. It will last forever, she said. Mm. And Changing Wind said LEM is awesome stuff. Cool. I guess I made a good choice. Mm hmm. Not that I've purchased them, no. but they're just on my list. Yeah. He does a major researcher before he buys anything. He exhausts <laughs> the level of research before Very he buys much something. So. Very much so. And, the, and the, the older I get, too, the more I lean towards never having to buy something twice. If I'm going to buy something, I'm going to spend some extra money, and I'm going to get something good that's going to last not break and something that I'm not going to outgrow. For most things. Some things you're willing to test out. Some things. If they're yeah. cheap things. If they're you know. cheap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if I mean if I could buy like a small meat grinder for two hundred dollars or a medium size for two fifty, I'll spend the extra fifty bucks and get a bigger one. That way I don't outgrow the small one or get right. frustrated with it. Right. I'd rather spend the money once on something good and than have to spend the money twice. Right. Oh, I know I they don't have know. bee boxes at Crosswinds Marsh. I've been to Crosswinds Marsh maybe three times, but it was probably five or six years ago when I was doing a photography project. I would go out there in the evenings and take you pictures. You and I would go out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We loved it out there. It was so beautiful. But I, I don't think I've, even back then, we remember seeing bees. <coughs> Buy once, cry once, was Changing Wind said. <laughs> That's true. Ugh. What else, honey? I don't know. I'm going to have another cracker. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was good. I'm good. That's a good sign if he's going back for more. It doesn't taste like fish. It tastes more like chicken salad almost. Yeah. Do y'all have any plans for cows or sheep in the future? Definitely not sheep. Never, ever, ever. Well, I, they always say never say never, but I have no desire whatsoever to raise sheep. I have 100% desire to raise cows. My fear is working full time and not being here. Um... It's not something that I personally feel comfortable doing. So I'm going to just wait till I retire, which is many, many years down the road. And then we'll get into cows. Is my current plan. I may become super, super weak and over overconfident at some point in my life and decide I can do it while I work. But right now I don't feel that way. Where did we get our Canadian bacon? From our pigs that we raised. The... Um, processor processed Canadian bacon for us uh, what are you eating did you miss Hidden Meadow Farm that we made the mock tuna fish salad from the cod that I canned we just did that on the live show that's what he's eating and we do have a dehydrator we have an Excalibur in fact it is on our Amazon shop which I just linked yep has a lot everything that's in our Amazon shop is something that we purchased for ourselves and we use it. Yeah. It's it, not a wish list by any means. Everything that's on there is something that we own and use. 
Yeah, especially after Noah's Ark said that they say sheep are the hardest. So especially after watching what Justin Rhodes went through this last summer, oh my gosh, I have no desire whatsoever to keep sheep. And that could have just been like a terrible experience that he went through, but... I'm telling you guys, though, that Canadian bacon is by far my favorite thing that we got back from our pigs, next to the bacon. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% satisfied with the pork. Like, the pork chops tonight, I'm like, eh, they're okay. I mean, they weren't like, I mean, I've had better pork chops. I agree. I mean, we've had, like, the hams. The ham steaks are good, but, like, the whole ham. We have to try it a second time. Yeah. But I think I screwed up the first one. What else have we had, though, that I was just like, eh, it's, I mean, it's okay. It's, and I know I raised them well. They ate good, and they were plenty fat, but it's a little bit drier, I guess, than I was expecting. And I, I mean, it could be that we're just cooking it wrong, but I mean, we cook pork chops from the store. <laughs> so Tangie was asked, do we have our, your hibiscus tea in our Amazon shop? Yeah. So I get it from Amazon. I'll show you real quick. Would it be under kitchen? I don't know. Oops. It might not be in there. Well, throw it in. Kitchen, gardening, beef. This is how it comes. It's from oh, that um, yeah, it is. Frontier Co-op. Comes in like the big Mylar bags. It's in there? It is in the... Oh, it's in my Amazon shop under Rachel's Favorite Things. Oh, and I had a... Somebody mentioned earlier, and I, I forget who it was, um, Russ talked about going to restaurant supply stores, and I do check, like I wouldn't mind getting a meat slicer one day. So if we ever do try to cure our own pork bellies into bacon, we can slice it ourselves. And so I do from time to time hop on Craigslist and look for Hobart equipment. I worked in the restaurant industry for probably eight years, and everything that we had was Hobart. Our slicers, our grinders, everything was Hobart. So I do check every now and then to see if I can find a good deal mm. on a nice Hobart meat slicer, but I have not come across anything reasonable yet. Mm. Um, so Green Gable said that they bought wet red wattles from a local guy. He's very lean, having a hard time cooking it. Yeah. And, and the funny thing is, is these pork chops had plenty of fat, like, all through them. Like, I was having to cut around the fat to eat them. But I don't know. I've had just really good pork chops. They're, like, one of my favorite pieces of pork. And I don't know. It's just food. I don't like feeling that way about all the effort that I just put into raising them. And then they... So that's why I want to try something completely different and try the guinea hogs and see if it isn't better. Redeem Durant said, spell it for me. Spell what? I'm not sure. What do you want to be spelled? Which you probably can't spell it for <laughs> us. To tell us, was it Hobart, honey? Was Hobart, H-O-B-A-R-T. It's a company, they make restaurant kitchen, kitchen equipment, meat slicers, grinders, is, is Hobart stuff in our Amazon shop? No, not at all. I don't know that that's even what he's talking about. Can you scroll yeah. up to Redeemed Ranch yeah, sure. and see if he said anything else? Um, It'd be nice if this had a quick search filter that you could search for um, one of the viewers' names just to show you what they said. To, hmm. Thank you for the links. and. Not quite sure. Congratulations on 5,000. Thank you. Yes, thanks so much, guys. And my Kentucky home says they're hesitant to get cows because they never handled them. I have not either. Yeah, we haven't either. But I actually have, I have a fear of horses. 
Yes. And I'm afraid of horses because to me in my head, they are so big that if they wanted to hurt you, they could hurt you. And so I'm wondering if I'm going to feel the same about cows. I don't think so because the co- I want Dexter cows when we get cows. And Dexters aren't big like horses. They're not okay. going to be taller than you or anything. They're as long gonna as be... I can take them. <laughs> I don't know that you could take them, but <laughs> they're not going to be big. Um, I find that home-raised meat, you need to cook slower than store-bought meat. Okay, thanks, Sammy. Maybe we should take some of them pork chops. And smoke them? And throw them in the smoker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So thanks for all of you. If you're new here, since we got to 5,000 subscribers, we really appreciate you um, so much. And uh, we look forward to celebrating the next milestone. Oh, and we're still running that uh, giveaway over on Instagram. I know it might sound funny that we're doing a celebration about hitting five, and I'm pointing this knife at you. I mean no danger <laughs> to you. Um, that I think it's it might be funny that we are... Um, doing a celebration of our YouTube milestone on Instagram, but it felt real to me that it was only because people were asking us and challenging us to start a YouTube channel on our Instagram account that we really did it um, or even started considering it. And uh, so I just wanted to get back in that community and thank them for encouraging us over the ledge to start a channel. So if you guys haven't joined and you have an Instagram account, go over to our page. I think we post it on Friday, maybe. And we're, what are we giving away? Oh, we're giving away two Lodge cast iron um, loaf pans. And we're going to draw that on this Friday night. Oh, good night, Valerie. Sleep tight. Good night, Tracy. Good night, guns. Oh, it is 10 o'clock. That's why they're all saying good night. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, and and guns wrote back to our contest, and he had the right answer, but you didn't win. Erica beat you to it by two minutes, guns. Name of the video that the old lady was sitting in the chair was year in review. Close Noah's Ark, but that was... That was the video that was, we wanted, what video did that clip come from? Right. But you were late anyways. Erica, congratulations. I will email you tomorrow your gift card from MI Gardener. Yeah, I hope you buy something fun. And who knows? Maybe we'll give away more stuff again sometime. And they, even if you don't want to grow anything, they got cool t-shirts. Their t-shirts are awesome and so super comfortable. And if you just want a fun t-shirt, grab that. And he has a new book out too. Oh yes, his new book. You could read. I think about it's like seventeen ninety nine. Yeah. Mhm. Maybe we'll give away one of his books once they're yeah. uh, hit Amazon. Yeah. Right. Okay. Say good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Thank Sleep you. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Thank you, as always, for joining us Tuesday night. We didn't lose power. We made it through the whole hour. Mhm. Sharon said, "What was the answer? Maybe she missed it." Um, it was the, what was it? Oh, Homesteading High Schooler AP English Assignment. It was done back in April and uh, by my daughter and her friends. Uh, it was an assignment for school, and Todd and I just had a little cameo in it. Canning okay. fish video will be out tomorrow morning sometime. Yeah. Don't know what time, but it'll be out before lunchtime probably. And we have a lard video coming out. And you have uh, goats playing video coming out. So we've got we quite more, a few things. More, more videos than we have time at this point. Right. So it'll just be a balance over the next couple of weeks while right. we wrap up these projects. But we'll keep coming at you. Have Bye, a good guys. night, guys. I close this down. <laughs>